Hello, my name is Nazir Khan from the Faculty of Civil Engineering Technology and in this presentation I will be demonstrating stress calculation. As we could see on the screen, um, find the stress at the mid height of the steel block. The load P is evenly distributed over the cross section of the block. The diameter of the holes are 50 millimeters. Let's go and uh, bring in the the diagram and there it is. When we look at this uh, we could see that we have a steel block it's in blue. It is on a solid surface and we have a load of 100 kilonewton applied evenly across the top of the block. We have the dimension of the block as 50, uh, 500 uh, by 200 by 100 and halfway up the height we have three holes. The center of the holes are right at the mid height of the block okay so we have a block we have a loading system and we want to find the stress right at the mid height here the cross section of this as we know the uh, formula or we should know this anyhow the formula for stress in MPA is equal to load over cross-sectional area the load has to be in Newton and the cross-sectional area has to be in millimeter square for you to have stress in MPA. This is an identity, okay? You cannot cross out the, uh, the units and get MPA. You just have to know Newton divided by millimeter squared is MPA. Okay, let's go and uh, look at the... We already know the load. It was given in the previous diagram. It is 100 kilonewtons. Uh, we need to calculate the area at the mid-height of the block. When we look at the cross-section of the block, the top view of the cross-section, say we cut it with a hacksaw right in the middle, this is what we would see. We'd see the outer edges of the block and we would see the three holes. Now, what we are trying to calculate at the midsection is the blue cross-filled uh, area or the shaded area here, the blue shaded area. We're trying to cr uh, calculate those those area. Now when we are looking at the holes now don't use pi r squared to calculate the areas of the hole that would be on the side and when we're looking at the hole in this dimension the holes are calculated as rectangles okay we have uh, a length or a width times a length and that will give me the area of one hole okay so let's go and calculate the area of the shaded pieces here, the area of the shaded pieces. When we look at how we're going to do that, we're going to take the entire block, the area of the entire block, and subtract three holes. Area of the entire block is equal to 500 times 200 millimeters, right there. And then we are going to subtract the holes, the area of the hole as a rectangle is going to be 50, which is the diameter, times the height, or the width of the holes and that would be 200. 50 times 200 but we have three holes so we have to multiply that by three. When we're looking at this, the area of the entire block, we have uh, 5, 2 is 10 and we have 5, 0, 100,000 right there and we have the area of the, the one hole which will be 5 times 2 is 10 with 4, 0, 10,000 right there times 3 is 30,000 30,000 from 100,000 gives you 70,000. 70,000 millimeter is the area of the shaded blue part of the block. Now let's go and place that in our formula as the area down here. We know that the, the load, P, has to be in Newton, so that's an easy calculation. You multiply by 1,000. And we will get 100,000 divided by 70,000. You could cross out the, the four zeros. You have 10 divided by 7, which is 1.43 MPA. Okay, so we fairly easy calculation to do. The tricky part of this is that realizing that the holes at the halfway point are, the areas of the holes are really rectangles. And then you would do this calculator. Other than that, this is a fairly simple issue to deal with. You have to keep in mind your units. You have Newton millimeters gives you MPA and the stress at the mid height will be 1.43 MPA. 
thank you. I hope that this uh, presentation helps you. Bye-bye.